Hello internet, welcome back to Mermaid! And in this video, the flag we're going to be turning into a mermaid is the Bear Pride flag. I'm Chrissy, and yeah, as you can see, I donated my hair. I donate my hair almost every year for my birthday when it's long enough. And I went completely bald this year. And so I wanted to make sure uh, the eyebrows were a bit thicker because I like thick eyebrows. I personally find them attractive. And I drew this sketch, like I drew the Bear Mermaid a good, um, at least three or four times before landing on this final sketch while looking at a reference. Um, so yeah. And I can't show you all the reference. The reference is a personal photo that I have. So, yeah, I uh, originally, like, uh, the Bear Mermaid, he did have, um, uh, chest circles. I, I don't know how to say it without getting demonetized completely, but I later decided just not to draw those in, and so, yeah. So they're in the sketch and on the pencil sketch, but not in the final inking. So, yeah, and I also, like, I was very really concerned about, like, the beard, because, like, I don't draw beards often, and, uh, when I drew it, uh, my boyfriend laughed, because I did use him as a, uh, model reference for this mermaid, uh, and so, he doesn't have that thick of a beard, his beard is rather thinner, but I'm just like, well, what I understand of bears is that they're uh, thick, and they have tons of hair, and they have beards, like, beards is, like, a very common thing. So I kind of, like, when it was, like, the standard beard shape that I knew and kind of, like, understood how to draw without it looking too weird, and the AC unit, so that's gonna cause a weird sound, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, I don't normally, like, uh, draw, like, chest hair or things, so what I did is I put, like, the chest hair and armpit hair, like, on a separate layer, and I kind of, like, did the texture with, like, just, like, some spirals, and then this is where I'm just like, I can't get the tummy to be curved quite right. This is where I'm just like, nah, we're not gonna eat that. Mm, just me trying to like get my line to look right without having to like redraw like a jillion times, but I did and have to go through and edit. And so, yeah, and this is just me going through, making sure my lines are where they should be. And so I'm pretty sure what I decided is I uh, started on the colors. Yeah, I started on like the eye color base because I'm just like, I don't know what colors to put where. So I was just like, I just went around, I picked the random colors and put them places. And it's just like, I don't know what to do or anything. But I put the yellow on the tail just trying to like make contrast. And then going through like, I did the select and drop, so I'm just like, I need to go through and find any of these spots in these tight corners that might have been missed by paint by the tool, because that happens a lot. It used to not happen in, like, beginning of, like, Windows paint, but it does now. So, like, I always go over and I'm just like, let me do the thingy thing. And then now that like, I'm looking at it, the red hair, like this reddish orange, I'm just like, well, this looks pretty weird. And this is just me going through and doing like the armpit hair because I'm just like, spiral, spiral, hair, hair shape, hair is a spiral. And so yeah, this, this is what I did. And then you're going to realize I'm going to come over and erase some of this one. Ah, the AC is now cold. 
but I live underneath it, so yeah, you can see, like, I'm doing a different thing. Where I'm kind of, like, going up and swirling, and then just going up a gajillion times. You can see my pretty Sonic Mania poster. But if this is, like, uh, your first video of this mermaid project, I have been drawing all the pride flags that I could find as mermaids. And uh, any ad revenue I get from YouTube from these videos from May 1st to July 1st are going to be donated to the Transgender Law Center. And next year I might pick another charity to give to. I'll let y'all know in the comments down below. But I haven't picked it yet. That's That'll be next year. Uh, as well as any like uh, profit revenue I get from any item sales of these mermaids on my Redbubble from May to July 1st will be donated there as well. And I'm actually super loving this mermaid, but a part of that is because I based it off my boyfriend. So yeah, I was originally going to put the paw on there, but I'm just like, I am not about to free jail this paw. It doesn't look right, so I went with speckles. So I drew and made speckles on everything. Grin speckles, and then later on, yeah, there's a few of them. I started just making them heart shaped speckles. But then, like, I realized, oh shit, I need to. One, I didn't separate my black and my white speckles, so I'm just like, that's gonna make shading these speckles difficult. So I had to put my black speckles on a different layer. And I'm just like, random speckles, random dots and circles everywhere, a few of them are heart shaped, that is on purpose. And then just go in and add the white speckles, cause I'm just like, I hadn't really incorporated like the black and the white at all, so I'm just like, let's incorporate that. And so yeah. And then you come back and this is me shading. I actually don't think I recorded all the work I put it on this because I only have like two recording files. One of them actually, uh, my computer, uh, the thing crashed recording, but uh, the Twitch live stream didn't. So I downloaded the Twitch live stream to get all the work that I actually did. And then it's just me like, this is where the light is vaguely and then blending that out and so yeah just having fun enjoying all the shading a whole bunch of shading trying to make sure the darks are where they should be and the tints are where they need to be because light is difficult but I still want to be able to you know read and this is just me realizing oh I didn't put any shading on the stomach when the chest here And then eyeball. Just trying to get some brightness in there. And some diff. And then beard. Beard was fun. I did like some swirls on the beard to try to like get some texture up in the shading. I don't think it came across very well. I think it came across too well, but I attempted. And I feel proud I at least attempted. And this is me going through, like, kind of clean up a little bit. 
And then scales. These scales took forever. I got rid of the uh, spots uh, because they were a little bit in my way. So, yeah. And so, like, I drew all these scales by hand, and I didn't make a grid. And I think it came out a lot better because I didn't make a grid, but at the same time, it took a lot longer. So, yeah. It took lots, lots longer. Because I sat here and drew all those scales by hand and that took like two-ish hours if I remember correctly. It, it took a long time. It took a very, very, very long time. And I remember, I think like my boyfriend was watching some kind of movie or whatever. And like, this was the beginning of the movie and by the time like I finally finished the scales, it was the end of the movie. Like, it, it was it was a long time of me just drawing scales. And I'm pretty sure I went to bed, like, right afterwards. I'm just like, I'm tired. I've spent. I've done all my energy today. I took all my energy and spent it on drawing scales. <laughs> so, yeah. Took a very, very, very long time to get those scales done. But I hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy. I hope you're all enjoying your mermaid. Um, remember to wear your mask outside. You know, all the good things. I actually went to the gym today. That's something I did. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, we, nor we normally try to go on Wednesdays and Fridays, but today's Monday as I'm recording this. And we actually went today. And it was nice. It went well. Because... Uh, yeah. So, because I have, like, a whole bunch of, like, foot pain, I can't, like do like a lot of like standing exercises or walking or anything without being in pain. So I sit on the cycle because I can do those exercises without hurting my foot anymore. And my foot not hurting, so that's good. And so yeah, and I uh did like my cycle for about you know 30 minutes it's normally about when we're there enough for me to watch like an episode of uh my hero academia but i decided like for 30 minutes like why don't i try to learn at least a little bit of like asl sign language so i learned like a few like basic signs and greetings like uh can you please sign slow uh can you sign that again a uh, hello uh, the full I love you, but I can't quite remember it, so I need to practice. I remember, uh, the how are you sign. Just, like, some basic things. I found, like, a YouTube video of, like, basic beginner classes. They were posted, like, a year ago. And one of the comments is, like, I am here because I watched, uh, Silent Voice, that anime movie, which I watched part of and cried. I legit, I think I watched like the first 15, 10 minutes of that and was bawling my eyes out. And I still haven't finished that movie. I just know I watched part of it. I cried. I bawled. And so, yeah. And then I'm just like, I've always kind of wanted to learn sign language. I had a speech teacher who taught me like a few words in sign language. She taught me boy and girl when I had speech therapy when I was younger. And so, well, I kind of always have been interested in sign language. And so, yeah, I'm wanting to learn. I'm just not that good. I have trouble, like, going through the alphabet and remembering 
all my letters still, so I'm still trying to learn all uh, the basics. Sadly, I don't have anyone to like practice with, so I have to like practice with uh, a mirror and things. So it's, it takes a minute. But I'm hoping to like at least be able to have a somewhat conversation with somebody in sign language at some point within like next year or two years from now at least about like hey I like Sonic do you, you like anime things like that yeah. this is a sheet I'm not folding the sheet sorry I fold laundry while I do my commentary in edit videos because if I don't it won't get fucking done trust me but I'm not about to sit here and try to fold a sheet because I, I gotta stand up for it I, I need a second hand I'm a tiny person that sheet is bigger than me. I am not even five foot. That sheet, I'm pretty sure, is five foot in every angle. And I said no. Chrissy said no. She ain't not folding no damn sheet. But yeah, look, look at that. I, I drew all these scales by hand, and that's as far as we are. And I'm just like, damn it. Because that's like, my hand hurts now. And I'm just like, I would like to not be doing these scales at this point, but I need to finish them, and I'm in that point of, like, DETERMINATION! Because scales are difficult to do, but they're important to do, so I spend a long, 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 long time doing them. Because it can be relaxing, but at the same time, after a while, I'm just, I need a break. I'm tired of drawing scales on everything. But I also enjoy drawing like these random patterns by hand, even though like it's just like you you, you can you can use a stencil a pattern. You have stencil brushes and pattern brushes in this bitch. You can download them. You can make them. But sometimes I'm just like, well, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look as good as I don't like you know draw it by hand. There's no shame in taking the shortcut out. But yeah, like, see that? That took two hours of my life. And then I'm just like, put it on the overlay. And her soft light. You can't see it as well. But yeah. I spent way too much time on that. And then my wife is just like, I don't like how this boob looks over here. You should fix the lighting on it. So I do So I like streak some shading on the chest to get it to like look right. Cause I'm just like I can't not listen to my boyfriend's advice. So yeah, I hope you all have a great day. You stay safe. Happy mermaid, everyone. Bye bye.